Greetings fellow tubers, tis I, Gerardine. And welcome back to Battletech. Well, where we last left off, we had just finished some contracts. Or, a contract, down on this planet, being, you know, Yar Har Fiddle Dee Dee Pirates. And after sleeping on it, I realized something. I don't have to move for this one. Because I'm at Barelophon right now. So this is essentially $33,000 for free. As part of a story beat. So I do not see why I cannot push that button right there. Benefactor. Anna Maria Centrella. Lady at that. Mr. Oliveira, thank you for honoring my request to meet. I'm Anna Maria Centrella. Part of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. Wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to evolve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander Silverthorn? My interest? Sure. But I need to hear the details before I'm willing to commit to anything. Of course, Commander Silverthorn. I'd expect nothing less. The job that I have for you is relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I'll pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. A fair deal, wouldn't you say? How do you know about... You know what, it doesn't matter. Just tell us what we're supposed to be recovering. This. Normous dropship. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on Exilus, pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you're going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Vertanen. I have an engineering staff on hand to attend to the Virgo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It will carry you to the pirate moon where you will clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go, work, go to work on the derelict, and you'll protect them until the work is done. Should be well, sh should all be well within your capabilities, Commander Silverthorn. Unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. Background for the Gladiator. I fought against legends, Lady Centrella. Pirates don't worry me. Then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there will be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Oliveira will never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering, Commander Silverthorn. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Gerardine. Looking for a lifeline. I think it's close we're gonna get. Okay, Lady Centrella. You've got yourself some mercenaries. Forward your contract to Mr. Oliveira. You know, your exploits on Solaris 7 are remembered in the Magistracy. Watch some of your fights myself. I saw your potential. Hope that you live up to it. Ready to review. Now, the thing is, let's see here, let's check my base. At this point, I only got four mechs and nothing in storage, except for parts. I can complete that assassin. Relatively easily at that. However, what 
contracts do we have? Ooh, that is a lot of money. Okay. Priority mission to Silas. I'm gonna hold on that. And actually... Do a little bit of... Waiting for orders. Good to go. Combat to help train up my, uh... Waiting on you, Commander. I'm here. Crew. So. We're gonna go play in Detroit. And I will be back once we are on site in the mission. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Or, you know, when an event happens. Alrighty then. Extension. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks where you find Glitch disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There's already several panels neatly stacked beside her. She pauses then explains. There's a few cubic meters of dead space back here. Making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As reasonable as the sound, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Considering I'm on way two mission right now, I can afford to lose a little bit of money to pay the fine. Fortunately, she's not a technician, so we can't make that change easily reversible. Look glitch in the eye. You know how the chain of command works? You have to clear changes like this before you start. She shrugs. Well, can I? Look over glitch's work. It's cleanly done, with no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During your chat with Darius, you can pay the cost of the fines to the benefit of the mech warriors and decide it's worth the cost. I lose money for a gain in morale. Command interface initiated. And welcome to the assassination. Until it's right, target is in the AO and only lightly guarded. Seeing a lot of local government activities in the vicinity of the target, who looks to be in a blackjack, maybe. So if I'm reading that silhouette, take them out, get to the evac, and then we get paid. So. Moving out. Uh-huh. Enemy detected. Position confirmed. And Medusa will get us line of sight. Locust and something else a little further back. And he's in a medium mech. Miss! Alright, you're in a spore cloud. Slow move it tuning through. And additional damage but they're harder to hit. So... For orders. I think... Continue shifting you along the flank. And we're gonna sensor lock that locust. Commando 2D, you're gonna be an issue. Alright. Commander. Advance. And put as much damage onto this as you can. Confirm. Well. 
Hostile removed. That works. Good to go. Gonna move glitch round. On my way. Start putting fire on that 2D. Got it. Take off one of his arms, which is always there's nice. There's more where that came from. And then there's me. Play peekaboo just over the hill and put everything into him. Pew pew pew. Oh, you want a torso. Enemy magic. Critical damage detected. Enemy turn. Just armor damage, though. I'm gonna reserve Medusa down. Well, I called the silhouette right. It's a blackjack. Delta Bravo, huh? You're a laser jack. Alright. Receiving you. Receiving you. Move into position. I'll move you up. We're gonna lock the commando. Sensors locked on. Back up a smidge. Keep you within optimal range. On. Our primary target is taking damage. What can I do for you? We are going to maintain a long range engagement stance. Put LRMs and PPC fire yeah, onto them. around him. Shots Roger. out of the side. Only one of which hit, which is unfortunate. But it was a headshot. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Waiting for orders. Let's uh, go get a little punchy, shall we? I'm fine with that. Mission successful. And that's a rather quick episode. Mmm. Buddy boy, two headshots. I'm fine with that. I am. That went well. Damage is, you know, superficial. Uh, we are. Oh man, if only I had more spaces. We're gonna take some blackjack salvage. Confirm. Oh, we got two of them. Nice. 
Lost a lot of lasers, but that's fine. I so wish I could have, you know. Uh, I have to look for Delta Bravo variants now. Run extremely hot, but high damage output. Actually. Alright, now, real quick. Because we have the time to do so, we have. Alright. Patrol in a supply convoy. Our mech warriors. We're gonna improve my character's guts. Training complete. What's up, Bach? Behemoth is going to improve her gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. Decker didn't come Good with me in this one. You are going to improve your guts. Mech warrior training complete. Ready for orders. You got a while until you get your piloting. Especially considering, you know, I'm Ready alternating between you two. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Let's check the store. Now. 2D Javelin Rifleman, Shadowhawk, Trebuchet, an Urban Mech, a Victor, and a Warhammer. Hmm. However, you have AC5. New weapon systems available. Gonna buy both of those. As well as at least equipment available. two things of the ammo. Because what we're going to do, depending on how long it takes, is we're going to modify my BJ1 here. Quite simply, we're going to remove the arm lasers, the AC2s, and upgrade them to 5s. However, we are going to lose two tons of armor to do this, which is unfortunate, because that is a lot of armor that I just lost. What is it, two tons? And it's what? 40 armor a ton, 60, so if we bring you down to 20, it is 80 armor a ton. So I literally just lost 160 of my armor for that modification. If I completely remove the lasers, on the other hand, what is your weight? You're one ton. Oh, no, that's for the ammo. Weapons. You are 8 tons to your 6. Each laser is 1 ton. So I have to completely strip out all of the lasers to justify an increase of damage. I would be losing 100 damage. This is a total of 150 damage. Two AC5s is 90 points of damage. A 60 damage difference is... no. However... Uh, you already have an AC5, so that's fine. A Vindicator here. Spider, yeah, no cares. Alright, that's fine. Extra AC5s isn't bad. But we are going to be taking a patrol in the next episode. Little money, little more experience. So, here we are. If you liked it, feel free to like it. Subscribe it if you want to see more. 
rummage through all my half finished projects. But this has been Gary Dean. Oh, feel free to leave any comments, questions, criticisms down beneath the video. But thank you guys for joining me, and I shall see you guys next time.